can't stop. We need rhythm PC. Let's rock. We need to depend on me. To give you weapons, weapons items, armor, information, and journey, and still you just push it and try to hurt me. Let's stop. We need rhythm PC. Let's rock. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a special episode of Critter Miss. You see, sadly, I am quite busy this week. Um, I am going to a political science conference in Philadelphia this weekend. I am leaving tomorrow, and I'm going to be there for about four to five days. Add in to the fact that I've had other things um, work, getting the preparation for my presentation for the conference in line, and a whole other number of different things. My cat had to go into surgery. Um, she's fine, by the way. Uh, so, I am exhausted. I don't have the time this week to create a video. So, because of that, I am just going to throw up a very quick vlog, similar to the one whenever I moved into this place. So, for today's episode, it's just going to be a quick vlog conversation, a tip for DMs and storytellers out there who are thinking of running a game and are getting people together for the game and getting the the story for their game all lined up. The There's a trend that I tend to find with role-playing games, um, especially with DMs and storytellers. It's, it's a kind of a disconnect between the players and the storytellers' motivations. And it's the idea that you invite um, a group of players together and there is this idea of whether or not the game should be still lighthearted and fun. You are playing a game, so you should have fun. Should you, you know, make Monty Python jokes? Should you kind of joke at the table? Or should the game be serious business because you're telling a... Maybe you're telling a serious story. Maybe you feel that it's more immersive for you to have a very serious setting. So the idea of telling Monty Python jokes or messing around the table or talking about things in your life that are not story, you know, story related can be slightly distracting in your immersive process. And I've quickly found that this is a problem that tends to be fixed if you kind of lay everything out up front. And I think this is part of the vetting process. Whenever you get a role playing game together, it's not like a board game or a video game. You need to have people who are going to get along well. You need to have people that are not only going to like each other, but also are all there for similar reasons. So sometimes maybe your really good friend who you always play with might not be best because five other people don't get along with them. Something like that. So I think that what's really important to avoid this conflict of... You know, we want a lighthearted game, we want a lighthearted setting, versus, listen, I want to get immersed into this game and you telling jokes or telling a story about work or bitching about your coworkers really breaking me out of my immersion. And is the way to solve this always seems to me to be to be very upfront with your style and how you're going to do things. Um let people know very quickly that, you know, you don't mind role-playing, you know, you don't mind jokes being told at the table, or this is going to be a little bit more lighthearted. there's going to be some fun humor in there that might be a little bit meta as well. Um, you know, it's not going to be 100% serious all the time, and if that's a problem, maybe this game's not for you. You could certainly join another one of my games later that is very serious, or let someone know who's always cracking jokes, who's always telling, uh, who's always quoting movies, who's just kind of laughing, you know, trying to get people to laugh, but also, you know, making themselves laugh too, that like, you know, this is going to be a serious game, and you constantly breaking the experience for people is quite upsetting. Um... And, I mean, this is not so black and white. There are multitudes of people. I guess the best advice is, once again, not only just to be up front, but know your friends very well. Know which ones are going to get along well together. And know who you are as a, as a storyteller. So that whenever you're actually presenting your game to them, and you're a very jokey kind of DM like I typically am, then the super serious players know ahead of time 
I need to be ready, I need to be prepared for this. So just be upfront with your players. And that's pretty much it. I'm sorry that I could not get to the last of the request videos. I will be getting to that one once I get back from Philadelphia. But thank you all so much for watching and following me. I may, and this is a big maybe, I may have a video from Philadelphia come up to later on the week. So uh, keep an eye out for that one. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more, and you're all awesome.